If you're feeling limited and defeated, you came to the right place. I am currently feeling that as well. I am feeling limited and defeated and that feeling roots from sadness. That's where it roots from. And it's good that you're doing the first step, which is acknowledging that you feel limited and defeated, which basically means you're feeling really sad. You might be feeling depressed, maybe even having fear. And so I know society teaches us to numb our feelings, ignore our feelings, and those don't work, not in the long term. Short term, it feels like it works, but it doesn't. So at least we're doing the first step, which is acknowledging that we have these feelings. So the second thing we need to do is to actually feel them. Surprise, actually feel our feelings because if we don't, they come back to bite us. And then they come back in weird, unexpected ways, and then you might be blowing up at people, or you might be doing things that might be self-harming. So you need to feel them out now. So how do you feel your feelings? You can just sit there. Now for a lot of us, that is hard. Just to sit there and just feel them can be hard. Okay, let's pause the video because I don't want this to be a really long video and I want to get to the point. Here are some tips and suggestions you can use to feel out your emotions. Yes, you can sit there and feel them out. That is difficult for most people in Western society. So if you can't do that, you can journal it out. If you have a therapist, you can talk to a therapist. You can... You can move your body. You can dance, do martial arts, roller skating, going out on a nature walk. You can scream in the forest or scream in your car. Whatever ways, whatever obvious healthy way you can do to feel your emotions and let it out of your body so it doesn't store there and get worse. But don't force yourself to feel it out either. So if you're not feeling like crying or something, that's okay too. But with time, allow yourself to release it. Allow yourself to have it come out. Some people do EF, EFT tapping. You could do that as well. That kind of helps like, you know, and kind of like activate your feelings, you know? Um, so there's different ways you can use to feel your feelings. So for example, I feel limited and defeated which is coming from sadness and depression because I tried to train for my 5K today and I couldn't because my ankle was bothering me. So instead of having toxic positivity, like, oh yeah, everything's great. I was like, you know what? No, I'm going to feel my feelings. I'm not going to ignore them. I sat there and I felt the sadness in my body. And I might continuously do that throughout the day, just sit there, Feel the sadness in my body. Now, for some people, like I said, it may not work for you. Do something else. We acknowledged it. We feel it. Now, I'm going to say some things what you don't want to do. Okay, so these are things you should not do, which is step three. Do not numb it out. Would be anything of excess. So it could be work, drinking, sex, alcohol, video gaming, watching social media, doing social media, all these things to numb it out and ignore your feelings and your emotions. And anything else I didn't mention. So it could be excessive sleeping as well. Anything of excess or anything that could be self-harming or dangerous to yourself or other people. It's a no. Just don't do it. Whatever it is that you're doing to numb it out, no. Because it's going to come back to bite you in the ass later. So... You need to feel it now. I want to say that because we'll just be like, okay, whatever. I can't feel my feelings. I'm just going to go drinking with my friends. I'm just going to go on, I don't know, was it Tinder or whatever it is that you're going to do to numb it out. Okay, the fourth thing that we want to do is self-love. Yeah, radical self-acceptance, self-love. Okay, so I'm going to use myself as an example. Okay. I'm feeling sad and defeated because this morning I wasn't able to train for my 5K because my ankle. So step four, radical self-acceptance, radical self-love. 
So accepting where you are in this moment and loving yourself through the process. So for my example, I injured my ankle. So I can ice my foot, schedule appointments with a healthcare professional to help me through it, ease up on working out and exercising, and take baths, relax my muscles. Now, obviously you want to adapt it to your situation. And that's obviously, this is more detailed with my situation, but let's say you feel defeated and limited in your relationships, finding a partner, be self-loving to yourself. So if you're not able to, I don't know, get dates, then date yourself, go on a date. You know, take yourself to the movies, take yourself to a restaurant. And I know I have been to restaurants by myself and I'm in a, I'm in a relationship, I'm in a marriage. And I go to restaurants by myself. I haven't done it recently, but if I want to go to a restaurant, go by myself. And I don't need to bring a book or anything. I could just be there, enjoy my meal, enjoy the ambiance around me, and just feeling grateful. So feeling grateful, having radical self-acceptance and radical self-love, doing things that are going to be nourishing to your body, nourishing to your soul, nourishing to your mind. So adapted to what is going on with you right now. So mine is more of a physical limitation right now. Yours might be another thing. It could be emotional. It could be a job that you know you you got fired from a job or you lost your job and you're not able to find another one. You know, like maybe you're going through a divorce. Maybe you're going through whatever it is. But this can apply to any part of your life. I hope this helped you guys. I'm currently feeling limited and defeated because of the limitation today. And I'm going to feel through it. I'm going to love myself through it and acknowledge the feelings, not numbing it out. Okay. Thanks for watching. And I hope you hope this is, <laughs> I hope this helps you and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.